Welcome to Going 19, Episode 6. In this episode, we discuss 11-22-63, Part 3, Living in the Past. I am Ed. With me is Kirsten and Amber. Let's start the show. I feel like it went by really quickly. Like, I'm like, wait, what did he do for all those years? Yeah, he just kind of skipped forward. He was like, well, blah, blah, blah. And then in 1961, I was like, yeah. Because <laughs> my whole thing was like, what the fuck did you even go to Florida for? Yeah, that um, um, was that right after he killed them? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, think so. I think he just wanted to have a change of scenery, you know? He didn't really have that freedom in his life in 2011 because he had to worry about finances and working and establishing a life, but he didn't have to worry about any of that because he just had enough money to kind of, and time to do whatever he wanted. Yeah, he's really uh, okay with living in the system, which I don't think Jake yeah. would be because he's, you know, and he complains about computers and how attached he is to it. Like, that's Stephen King, but that's not Jake, but just... <laughs> he's Jake, like, 35, so he was born... I had this figured out. He's six years younger than me at... Yeah, at the time, in 2011. Because I was 41. So, he was born in 76. So, he kind of... So, from the time he was in, like, middle school, he's had computers in his life, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think he would complain about it. That's just the life he knows. Whereas Stephen King probably yeah. spent fifty years before he I ever saw the movie. I agree with that because I'm younger, uh, not significantly, significantly, but I'm several years younger than Jake, and I get annoyed with how attached we are to computers and technology sometimes. Yeah, I do. I always try to separate myself, but then again, it's my career, so there's no getting Yeah, you can't get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, in general, Jake seems very comfortable, not, like, or not attached to anything. And I don't know that that would necessarily be the case, but I'm sure there are people who live their lives like that. <laughs> Jake is a serious loner for a guy in 2011. Like, he has nobody. He definitely like, is. <laughs> that's part of it. So he has nothing holding him in 2011. But I think I need my Wi-Fi. I don't know, man. <laughs> would be an adjustment for yeah, me. I don't know what we would I don't know what I would do without being able to stream whatever I wanted <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's even what five years that's, that's, yeah. that's a newer uh, thing I'd be fine <laughs> I would just read a lot of books so I don't think the entertainment aspect would bother me but not being able to just pick up my phone and look whatever up that I wanted to that would be difficult for me because it would drive me crazy not being able to know the answer to something right away. Like, I, I feel like I've been spoiled in that regard. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Every time I look at that picture for living in the past, it looks like Franco to me. Franco? Franco? Yeah. Maybe that's why they picked him. Yeah, maybe. I wonder where he got his random picture from. The guy. Uh, the guy in the air looks like Franco? Yeah. Well, I don't see I it. I, yeah, I don't see it at all. Okay. I said to me. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> probably Hulu's fault. Uh, so Apple uh, took the easy way out, huh? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I think it's a dickhead move because it was almost like... Like... Uh, well, you might be having second thoughts. So just in case you are, I'm going to kill myself. So now you have to do it. Like, oh, you feel like it guilted Yeah, Jake like he was guilting into them into it. it. <laughs> well, yeah, Jake mentions that. And then he I don't remember. He has one of his, like, counters to it. Uh, I can't remember. He says something along those lines, basically. And how do you tell how old you are? Like, that would screw your head up trying to keep track of how old you are. Because... Every time, look, because like right here. Oh, because he's. I going- spent fifty-two days in nineteen fifty-eight, but it was only two minutes later when he came back. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you could, you need like a algorithm or something to figure out your age if you do. You like, definitely have to track a lot. Well, I was gonna say you'd have to write it down every trip and how long. Yeah, to figure out how old you actually are. 
yeah. if you're bouncing back and forth. That makes sense. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't celebrate your birthday on your birthday anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Unless, I didn't think about that. Like, every time you go back, like, you wait till it's September. Enough. Yeah. It, whatever uh, day it is. What is it? September 9th? It's, you're saying wait exactly a year. Right. So go that back you're... on September 9th, so it's the same day when you go back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I found it. So on page two forty two at the top, Jake says, You bastard. I thought you knew I might have second thoughts and this is how you took care of them. And then yep. he was like, Yeah, I'd had second thoughts, but he's like basically it was already decided <laughs> because of Harry. Thoughts are not choices. Yeah. Yeah, he does that uh Oswald secondary at that point. Yeah, like like, <laughs> I, like I guess I get why Al did it because you know cancer is a special kind of pain and it was no coming back. But he yells at him for smoking. He's like, the, the horse has already left the barn on that score, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're gonna die anyway. I guess you might as well enjoy yourself. Whatever helps alleviate your pain. <laughs> uh, so I guess I get why he did it. I don't. But see, now if I'm Jake, I really don't care about Kennedy. Honestly, no. that's like my parents' generation. Or even. Right. For me. My parents I still generally. don't care. Yeah, even at halfway like, through the book, I don't care. Still don't care. <laughs> like, once Al kills himself, I'm like, I'm free. I have no obligation. <laughs> camera. Yeah, like now I don't even have to like hear about it or what time you. portal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I could just I can go going back to 1958 but i'm doing whatever the hell i want right also i know he's he's dead but like it, it's weird that he still remembers this past that that jake remembers before he went back and is that because he's used the portal or because he's near the portal like why why did he remember everything yeah i noted that like so Wait, so when what? jake comes back from the trial run when he saves most of the dunnings uh the pictures on the wall change. Right. Like Harry, that picture of Harry's never there, and it's a picture of Mitchell or whatever that guy's name is. Right. Yeah. So he remembers the picture of Harry. He doesn't remember anything about the, the congressman. So I'm exactly. thinking, well, if, if theoretically, I guess Al lived through this time that Jake just created, shouldn't he remember? Oh yeah, I thought that was weird too. Should his memory have changed almost without him even because knowing it? he didn't go back with him, right. right? So so reality changed for him while Jake was back there. But he remembers the way it was, not the way it is. Mm -hmm. I was trying to wrap my head around that. That's like, yeah, that's that's weird. That weird. <laughs> like that time travel stuff. You, you can't overthink it, or it's just going to start just connecting everywhere. It's not going to work. <laughs> but I feel like they should have. I feel like he should have um, adjusted that. I was going to say, who's they? <laughs> to Stephen King? Yeah, I, I I feel like he should have adjusted well, that to make it make sense. They talked, I mean, he it kind of is like an offhand thought, and he's like, eh, maybe it's because I was nearby. Like, I yeah, remember he, that. Uh, uh, but, I but then, I but then, if you go by by that logic that ties into the yellow card man right no longer the yellow card man right remember when i asked are you speaking with the knowledge of somebody who knows the card's gonna keep changing colors i know i literally Amber, i'm not even joking it was like what half an hour after i left here i took a picture of the page and underlined it and sent it to ed and i said you lied <laughs> <laughs> well, all I'll say on that is uh, it's not over. It's not over, which means the yellow card man isn't really dead. No, not necessarily. All I'm saying uh, is there's more to come on that topic uh, later on. Mm. But that, I mean, look at the last chapter in the book. You know what it's called? No, actually, I didn't even look at the chapters. Part six. Wait, where is it? Oh, oh. Part, yeah, part six. Amber goes, oh. <laughs> well, because, well, first it was the whole, like, color, and then I was like, the color itself is important. <laughs> Green. Yeah, well, we're not there yet. We got a long So way. that basically means everything corrects itself because everything is good. I... Sure. That's exactly how Stephen King works. But that doesn't necessarily mean that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but he comes back, so something got corrected. Does he? 
you don't <laughs> yeah I'm like it's not that doesn't mean if, anything if he if the last one's called the green card man obviously he's in it I'm not even. Mm. there's nothing obvious <laughs> yeah right I don't know who yeah. you're reading but... <laughs> you have to remember this is still my well friend. except for anything that's 19 <laughs> There's, there's, oh, I missed the 19. I, was I found a couple. In the last chapter, we had an audio. I was audio booking on the way to work. Uh, they said something about. Hold on. Yeah. You can't. Hold on. I got to the Well, there's. Well, I'll let you go. Let, I remember two off the top of my head. No, not in this chapter. Uh, oh, it, from last part. Yeah. Uh, um, no, I got Harry Dunning drove to Haven. Uh, I think there was another Haven reference in there, too. Um, Amberson was at 19. I hate his last name. Is that just me? I can't stand Amberson. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just a character matter, says man. his name or he says his name, like, uh, just me because I know it's not his name. I, I just I don't like it. It doesn't. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Uh, George Amberson. I yeah. think it's a perfectly fine made-up name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, all right. Well, I apparently didn't write it down, or it's not on the tablet. So. <clears throat> um. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Um. Okay. So. I'll have to edit out that little pause there. I wish someone else would do that. <laughs> John was supposed to do it. <clears throat> I have to listen to the whole stupid thing and like before I have to listen to it all over again and say, is that okay? Is this okay? Is that okay? And then I have to do the weird thing where I'm like, okay, pretend it's not me talking so you don't, <laughs> so you don't think you sound all weird and stupid. <laughs> uh, yes. He keeps saying LHS when he worked there. I know it's a high school, but what... It's Lisbon. Lisbon. Lisbon Falls is where he lives. Mm-hmm. Lisbon be, High School. Shouldn't it be LFHS? Mm, no, they cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> the falls were added later. No respect for Wait, him. but isn't he... Wait, is, is LHS his old high school? Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, where's the new one that he's at in Jody? Um, so he saves everyone... Harry wouldn't have gone to live with his aunt and uncle in Haven. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. Maybe that. She would take the big Apple guy, too. Everything's always been a book and iPad. Which product placement? I, I feel like he's <laughs> Oh. I'm very thing, cool that he is. Uh, I'm looking at my notes. One thing that we did forgot, well, maybe, I don't know if we're going chronologically, but the broken <laughs> sewer sign uh, put there that he asked them, do you think it could have been put there? Uh, because the people avoid the rabbit holes slash also possibly because of it. <laughs> okay, where are you at? So, uh, I don't know what page it is. It's towards the beginning because he's talking to Al about it so it's before Al's dead. And Jake mentions like, hey, you know, was that sign still there when you came back? Like oh, before 63? Still- yeah, like, do you really think the sewer's been broken for five years? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I highlighted that too because a broken sewer in dairy yeah, was only one way to go exactly and i'm like it could be both it could be somebody put it there to avoid the rabbit hole and also because of pennywise <laughs> yeah the yellow card man but that's also- not in dairy that's in lisbon falls oh well, that's true yeah that's true yeah well that's- never mind <laughs> i mean it's still important <laughs> though. We start, start swapping swapping pounds here but so then that that leads me to believe that it's there on purpose to avoid the rabbit hole. I think that's part of it. I I, I just <clears throat> and I think nobody thinks anything of it because why would anybody care? Why would anybody want to go back there? They're just like, okay, whatever. It's just like a dry city abandoned. Yeah, yard down an alleyway. Like who cares? What? Who would be like? Now wait a minute. We need to fix this right now. I need to get back this alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, nobody really cares. So I think that everybody just dismisses it. Except for, Like I said, that rabbit hole pop seems very fragile. Like, <laughs> well, like, because there's a sign there. Not to go back there. No, and that works. Nobody really cares. Who 
who is going to care if there's like a broken sewer line? Nobody's going to be like, oh, that's something I want to explore. I was like 16. I'm going to say if it's broken sewer, don't go back there. Guess what I'm doing? I'm going back there. See, I, I, I'm I, following your train of thought about <laughs> rebellious and just I'm the with you. I'm with you. But yeah, with the natural psychological <laughs> taken. You know, oh, we're not allowed to do it, and now I want to do it, right? So I get that. I'm following that. However, for me personally, that's not something that that I would. Not you personally, but somebody would. I don't know because it's sewer. Like who? It's sewage. Who's going to be like? Let's let's look at that. Okay, some of those sewer pipes are really big. You can fit in them. I don't want to go in there. It probably smells. It's nasty. There's poop. No. There's water that you don't go in, but there's. I would not want to. We had one near my house. We used to go in there and get drunk. Are you kidding? That was like when you were like 16 and you had. Well, so maybe ultimately it is still something like Pennywise trying to lure teenagers in there. You couldn't just go to a park, the woods, (laughs) an abandoned house. There are a million other places other than a sewage pipe that I can go to drink. Illegally. What? Well, I don't understand what this conversation is right now. Because we got off track. Somebody would have stumbled on the rabbit hole. Exactly. Before. He's trying to say that because there's a sign there, somebody would be rebellious and want to go back there and end up finding it accidentally. Because the sign, the sign wouldn't keep anybody. That, it wouldn't keep everybody away. From and it. I'm arguing that I disagree with that because it's sewage specifically. So people are going to be like, "Ew!" I, like I don't want to yeah, go so back when there. I was- <laughs> Big old pipes and get now. Don't get me wrong. If it was like caution, stay away. I'd be like, well, why? Like I want to look back there. Yeah. But if it's edge, I'm like, mm, nah, I'll pass. I'll look until you know. Anyway, it bothers me. So, <laughs> like moving along. <laughs> yeah. Amber's getting us back on track. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so. Yellow card man is now the orange card man, and Al has no clue about that. So he's been talking to Al the entire time. Yeah, and I don't understand why Jake doesn't bring that up. He does. To Al? He's the orange card man now. Uh, yeah, two, but does he say that to Al? 2.30. Yeah. One more page. He's the orange card man. He's the yellow card man is oh, also what are near... You only on the other side and feel the two. You've seen him, so you know he's the orange card man now. What are you talking about? He just like, they just move on though. Like there's no discussion about it. It's just like, okay, like I'll take you home now. Yeah, I think they underestimate, like, like I was just like, well, I think he's a drunk. He just happens to like hang out near the rest. Mm-hmm. No. I just don't agree with I just don't understand why there's not a bigger conversation around the changed color of the card. Because every time you go back, it should be the same. Like, nothing should change except you inserting yourself in because that would mean something changed prior to you arriving. So he's like, oh, he's the orange card man now. What are you talking about? Oh, like, just never mind. We'll just move I, along. He's, he's too tired to talk about it right I now. I was going to say, at that moment, I'd be willing to give both of them a pass because he has nothing in his system. He's about to crash. And Al is um, he, he, dying slash contemplating suicide. <laughs> and before, <laughs> it, it didn't change colors. They may have changed what it was saying, but they could have chalked that up to him just being a drunk and, like, maybe something happened differently. You no, know, like, I could see how they let it slide, but I do think it was a huge failure on their part to discount his importance <laughs> yeah and i think they 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 dismissed him out of hand pretty easily yeah for me sorry, when the, when especially maybe if he's always the yellow card man but when the card starts seeing the colors i'm like wait a minute well that's yeah. what i'm saying like, i'm I... walking over to the green front and going what color cards do you have <laughs> I, I just... that whole situation and i i know we talked about this a little bit last time but that whole situation just blew my mind because again for me it doesn't make any sense because because that card changed color prior to jake arriving like he has the car before jake gets there he already has it when jake enters the portal so that if the card changed color that means the sequence of events prior to jake arriving has changed 
And if that's that that doesn't make sense to me. Anything after Jake gets there that changes, yeah, I can chalk that up to okay, we inserted someone who is not supposed to be there. It changed the sequence of events. But if the card has already changed color upon his arrival, that means the sequence of events changed prior to Jake arriving, which or why? There's another option. Right. Time. What's the other option? The yellow card man exists outside of that timeline. Exactly. Or he because of he has he is not trapped in the nineteen fifty eight. He came from somewhere else just like Jake did. But then why is he there? Or think about like Al. Al didn't go through, but he also has the same memories from before. He's outside of that time. <laughs> Say that again, Amber. Huh? Say that again. I said, or think about like Al. He's outside of the time too, because when Jake comes back, he remembers the uh, uh, alternate reality. <laughs> and I can buy into what you guys are saying, but why is the yellow card man always in the same spot, always doing the same thing? Like, why? Why is he always there then? I think we're gonna find out more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he dies if he's if he's dead. If Jake dies in 1963, he's dead in 2011 too. So if he Why dies, did Jake die. I'm just saying because the yellow card man dies. Right. It's like Frank Dunn smashed his head open or something. He's dead. Jake's gone. Yeah, right. it's it's. What if he took his body and put it back through the rabbit hole? That I I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no, because your injuries come with you. He didn't get healed when he came through. The brain off the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, if he's dead, then... I don't think, I mean, I think we could have this discussion uh, once we finish reading, but we don't know anything until the book is over. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I mean, the yellow card man is just not a drunk. And I think that's he's very. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's very important, and the fact that he is now black and dead is extremely important, especially if he's the one that killed himself, which I'm not entirely convinced of, but... But how is... I? But I feel like he can't really be part of the rest of the story if he's dead now. I Even if he's from Nothing is set in stone. You can't travel back to 1958 either, but they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, maybe... And I'm not saying this with any knowledge. The yellow card man and the orange card man are two and, different people. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Actually, that thought never crossed my mind either. Maybe plot the, twist. Maybe the green card man, somebody else can play. Maybe he's the boss. Wow. <laughs> they all look alike. They had to call in the manager. Jake keeps fucking shit up. They had to up. call in the manager. <laughs> but how come the yellow card man was fine for Alden? You know, I don't know. Because Alden totally fuck shit up well al went through at least 50 times and <laughs> but it, his interactions were minimal he no, just i mean did the same thing every time gave him i told him fuck you i'm not giving you a whole dollar yeah and then he went and bought his meat and then he walked back up <laughs> and then the guy at the green front says Is that this time that the, the drunk tried to buy liquor or something but he smelled like booze so i told yep. him yep you know, I... Uh, oh yeah, the yellow card man is not. So that was one thing I thought I thought was interesting. He's not a local. No one knows him in the town, and he's no idea. Has no ID. Excuse me. No one knows who he is. Oh yeah, the, back to the sewer. I highlighted that part. Uh, it might be there to keep people from wandering into the rabbit hole. But if so, we put it there. Right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Somebody like the yellow card man type figure, like guardian. <laughs> higher up. Huh? Higher up. I think maybe. Oh, uh, higher up. Maybe the white. Something yeah. Like. The white. But is so? Is this a bad portal? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, uh, but I think something put the portal there. Maybe, and that something needs to protect the portal. Yeah. Okay. I see. That's true. So you think that there, it, this isn't a coincidence. This, the portal was put there on purpose for a specific cause. That's well. Is that what you're? I you're think the thinking? portal was put there on purpose. I don't know if it's for a specific cause or not. Uh, 
Otherwise, it does to be a reason they put it there. It has to be. You need to read more Stephen King. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. A reason. Yeah. All right. Well, can I get a break? This is my first Stephen. I know, I know, but you just need to open your mind. The knowledge that I know everything <laughs> there is to know about Stephen King world well, for a minute here. Just when you say stuff like there has to be a reason, I'm just gonna tell you no, there doesn't. Yeah. Don't read under the dome. I mean, it would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like you would think. I, Put I see that what on the list. I see what you. Think. So there's 61 a very long there. list. <laughs> we were talking about list. that the other week, what we're going to read next, Amber. She wants to go oh. dark. Kind of I mean, I'm down. Yeah. I have to because you said everything ties back into that. So I feel like for other stuff to make sense and She's for not wrong. Your references, I have to read that next. She's just tired of us saying it's a dark tower thing. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely <laughs> correct, which is why that's what uh, we should read next. Al's nurse has the same name as Dunning. Well, isn't that? Don't they think that's her? No. What do you? Oh, I guess she would be dead by then, right? No. Is she... named Doris. She's like. Al's, oh Al's nurse yeah, yeah, Doris yeah. Dunning. It didn't. He didn't notice the coincidence, and surely that was what it was. But it clanged in my head just the same. Uh, 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 uh. I know what this means, but uh, I turned off the engine. I thought about what a cramped, niggardly, basically unpleasant plastic and fiberglass shit box my Toyota was. That just means like cheap or something, right? Yeah, I guess. <gasps> that was really bad. Maybe that's what it was. Because he's in 1958. I don't know uh, about Wait, where are you? Uh, two thirty-four. Okay. Yeah, I can He's never follow you. You gotta have two references. Oh, I'm just going to the next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two thirty-three and uh, <laughs> the car was two thirty-four. Also, to answer your question, everything I see just says like Lisbon. I don't think they go by Lisbon Falls, <laughs> so that makes sense why it's LHS. It's at some point, because I, I, it I, is, I, yeah, I, but um, no, it definitely is the name of the town. But like it said, like the Greyhound Lisbon and like Lisbon Weekly Enterprise. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, I found it interesting that Jake looks himself up to see what happened to him. Uh, I never. Man, I was look. I was thought he was looking up uh, the Dunnings, and he's like, hmm, "What happened to George Anderson?" Like, it's, and, 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 it, and it would be a kind of like a weird, like the guy I made up existed in 1958, and then he comes back to 2011, and he looked up George Anderson. He, like, he was a real person at some point. Uh, well, I think so he wanted a, to know, like, it's a weird twist in your head. Did somebody? To... Because some they could potentially have. Figured it out. Found someone else that looks similar to him and arrested them or something. So he's probably like, let me make sure I didn't screw anyone else over. Did Tur- did those suspenders die? Um, oh, okay, right. He does in the first time he goes back. He doesn't he doesn't even talk to him. He just sends him a letter. No, no, I mean the first time when he has the heart attack. Did he die from the heart attack? Uh, yeah. yeah so. he does. Yeah, he okay. does. I didn't really catch that. He dies. Part. Cause he when he looks back and at the um, oh yeah and the, when he looks back in the past it talks about it yeah when That's he what looks up doing. like what happened to everybody to see it's coming up next <laughs> way of a heart attack That's what he's doing now look Mr. man yeah air right there it says um only moments later page 236 the heroic Mr. Trick got separate heart attack. Uh, I well, I guess it doesn't necessarily. Oh wait, it definitely does. It just says he had a heart attack, and then. I mean, I think for some reason I had it in my head that he definitely died. I, yeah, like I thought that I got that impression, but I it never. I don't think it ever tells you. Well, it seems to be that. But that's why Jake says stuff- the heroic intervener who had saved the family and suffered a heart attack for his pants. Right. 
Oh, you're saying it doesn't necessarily mean he died of the heart attack. He right. just had yeah. a heart attack. Yeah, I see. I think for me, because of how bad it was in the whole I situation, it, like, I'm like, oh, he had a heart attack when he died. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I never really said that. Though, so I was... Well, it seems serious enough for him to warn him about it next time, so. Then he calls Ellen. Oh my god, yeah, that was kind of horrible. Like, are you him? Yeah. Are you him? Yeah. Like, wow, what a connection to make 50 years later. Although he did ask about that. And she seems pretty smart. <laughs> she figured it out that's right away. That's what I missed on the first go-round. You know where Ellen works, right? Um, um, 238. W-K-I-T. <laughs> you know wow. what W-K-I-T is? I do. I know you do. Tell her what it is. I'll see if I can pull up a picture. It is, um, it is owned by Stephen King? Yep. Or, yeah. Stephen King's uh, radio station. What do they it, play? Like rock? It was going out of business. <laughs> yeah. If, if you go on like streaming radio apps, you, you can stream them. You can. Oh. It's like classic rock. Um, it's WKIT, WZON, and something else. One's talk radio, one's alternative, which is like sappy like old people music and <laughs> uh one's like talk radio and the whole station was going out of business and he was like screw that and he bought it because it, it wouldn't have been a radio station in the bank so he bought it he owns all three of the radio stations so the radio station she works at is you know why it's wkit well it has to be a w so k for king and it for it and i was thinking yeah What's the W for? Every radio station on the east east of the Mississippi starts with a W. West starts with a K, I think it is. Oh. I don't know the exact reason for that, but they do. Oh. Like he even uh, mentioned Steve Jobs in the next paragraph. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn Apple lover. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? The interesting <laughs> thing... Uh, the, this is the first time of the two times that he's called an angel in this section. <laughs> he's called an angel twice, really. Oh, well, quickly. no, wait, no, wait, never mind. That was Harry that called him an angel last time, right? Yeah, well, yeah, because she says Harry said you were his guardian angel. Yeah, yeah. And then it's... Like, Oh, what's his, his name's wife? The, the shooter, right? When did we do the tour? 18? What? When did we do the tour? 18? Yeah. Uh, I forgot you were looking for that. Yeah, I'm looking for it, but it's really slow. I don't know why. I'm going to have to pick a smaller folder. <laughs> like, it's, there's like 500 some pictures in the folder, and it's like really slow oh, loading them. Why do you have so many pictures? Because it was a Stephen King tour. <laughs> okay. I think we're getting closer. Uh, all right. I should have planned this better because they're not loaded. So whatever. If you have a picture, I'm going to just send it to you. Or I'll show, I'll show right after the video. Oh. So I guess we'll just keep talking and I'll get it eventually. <laughs> Well, now we're on the bus. Okay. We're getting close. Mm-hmm. What am I looking for? <laughs> oh, the radio the station. The radio station. There's his house. Um... Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Ellen works at WKAT. I missed that first time when I was doing yeah. the audio book. I think that's the one I was thinking of when I was doing the audio book the other night. It's like, I... I what did she say? I something for a living. Uh... I'm a jock on WJ. Yeah, what is that? Two thirty. You know, a disc jockey. Towards the bottom. Yeah. So, the <clears throat> more importantly, uh, he saves Harry, and then Harry dies in Vietnam. Yep. yep. So, that was a big fuck you from, uh... The whoever, universe? Yeah, whoever put the portal in. <laughs> yeah, that was like... 
Yeah. Although I did think it was funny that he says, like, he says, I wish Al dead. I'm like, well, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I found a picture. I'm showing it to you. Okay. And... I told you one. Zon. One's alternative, so that's the sappy music. WZON is talk radio. But do they, I'm saying, do they stand for, because you said it's oh. King. And then no, King. I think that's what they already were. Oh, so he, he only just did, kept those. He only did that with the rock and roll ones. Got it. Sing. Is that right, Amber? Do you know this? I don't know. I don't, I mean, the letters don't jump out as meaning anything to me. Um, so, yeah, the past is obdurate. He said, fine, you want to save Harry? Then we'll just kill him 40 years early. So, mm-hmm. That's what he said. Like, <laughs> like, I saved Harry only to cut his lifespan by 40 years. So he would, he would never be hop toed Harry. He would never have a chance to uh, be a janitor or something like that. <laughs> like, his, like, yeah, then you almost have to go back through. He's but, a big metal like, figure. What do you do at that point? So Harry dies, but the family lives. So do you go back through and reset it and let Harry live and kill the family again? <laughs> that is an ethics mm-hmm. question. <laughs> I right? mean, in my mind, I think that you go back and do it again and do it a lot better than well, what he did that time. I think that's kind of what he does. Oh, credit to him. I actually like the way he does Why couldn't you just do that the first time? I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, why would you not just do that the first time? Because he had to be sure. I don't know. I, no, I, it's stupid. Yeah, well, Jake's stupid. So we, I think we figured that out. Yeah, we definitely did. Remember, I wrote it down. So Ellen's like, are you serious? Sixth <laughs> of February, nineteen sixty-eight. I guess that's. I'm assuming that's when the Tet Offensive was. So I'm, I'm not. A, Vietnam was before my time. <laughs> and then I was like, hmm, two six sixty-eight. How do I get nineteen out of that? <laughs> I know. Every time I see a number now, I try to. Yeah, you've been doing this long enough now. You should try to figure out if it can equal 19. And Al says, yeah, that's what Al says. Too much pain. I couldn't wait. You have the key. You know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. Save <laughs> Kenneth, please. Now I'm dead, so you have to do it. Yeah, all right. Like I said, I kind of would have been like, great, now I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, all right. Let them tear the diner down. <laughs> Al's dead. What does he care? He's not worried about that shit anymore. <laughs> but what if, and, and here's, okay, how, you, if you went back in time, would you go visit yourself? No, because that might What's screw the point? up. Yeah. Have you ever watched a time traveling movie? The rule number one is like, you can't see or talk to yourself because it yeah like, but damn i would up. be curious i would i would have to at least look maybe from Just afar why why though i mean i guess you mean past that you may not remember but it's not like the future where you don't know what's going to happen like why even yeah. curiosity really i guess what it comes because i but but ooh, yeah it's like a really dangerous uh slippery slip i might mm-hmm. yeah like back to the future what if i what if i butterfly myself out of existence by going <laughs> Exactly. Or I go visit Don't my parents, uh, like Michael J. Fox. Have you guys seen Back to the Future? Of yeah. course, yeah. Like my mom wants to date me instead of my dad, so then Don't I start I start not existing anymore. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Also, that's like really messed up if you date your own mom. Well, uh, have well, you heard of Oedipus? You weren't exactly a fan of it. But <laughs> mom was all like, hey, Calvin. Probably because she looked like his dad, or he looked like his dad. <laughs> that could have been it. Nope. He was, it was Michael J. Fox. He was 80s hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a crush on him when I watched that movie as a kid, for sure. That Did was you? a different time. Yeah, it was, a, it was before Parkinson's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed he's had it as long as he's still alive. Like, I thought that, yeah. that cut your lifespan. He really does. Just, but if you I have guess, enough money, you can yeah, live Yeah, I was going to say, it, I guess if you have enough money. What happened to Harry this time? Why did I write that down? Oh, uh, maybe that's the Kennedy time. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things I was thinking. When he, after he does the whole Kennedy thing, when he goes back, he needs to find out, like, did Harry still die in Vietnam? Like, what happened to Harry this time? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was more curious about that than the whole Kennedy thing. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go back just to see, like he's very invested like, in Harry. Like, like should he go back and see what happened to Harry? And like, fuck, all right, now let's try it again. Like, 
maybe he needs to keep doing it until he gets it right, and then he can move on to Oswald. Because he doesn't know wh- what he did. Yeah, but Jake's only going to live for so long. He can only go back to Yeah, but he's only got to wait five weeks for Harry. Yeah, I guess that's like true. He could, he could do Harry, save Harry, go back through the rabbit hole. You know, go How many through, times, though? It's still going to add up. Until he gets it right. But that's what I'm saying. He might not get a chance. I mean, to... give it a year. If you haven't figured it out by then, you move on. But he's got nothing to do in 2011 with him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So yeah. it doesn't matter. He's already like, oh, I'm stuck in 1958. Oh well, I'll just live. Yeah, here. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Lottie freaking out. Does not care at all. I like when he says, even people capable of living in the past don't really know what to. I, I wrote that down too. I thought that was funny. Yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, because the obdurate past. <laughs> well, I, I guess he says that very often. In this, uh... Yeah, they do love to say that. Well, we're about to get back to the black card man, as he is in this version. He and is. That was, that was one thing. I wrote, what the fuck? <laughs> well, that was one thing I wrote was immediately even Jake recognizes that potentially the yellow card man black card man killing himself could make it harder to stay inconspicuous maybe it's part of the past again trying to stop him from doing whatever he's trying to do but it ends up not mattering anyway he just kind of hangs around and gets yeah, the, the, the what's of the black the, the guy killing himself is part of the obdurate past Blocking potentially him. yeah just because now there's this like he can't just do what he did last time and just mosey around and whatever be all like guy from out of town because now there's a guy who's dead <laughs> vagrant but or not it really ends up not affecting him much anyway he just kind of hangs that? out for a night did you hear about the guy over yeah there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then that's how you know he's not from around there because nobody knows who he is right this time he touched the card too. I found that interesting. Yeah, he said it felt like skin, like a calloused skin. It wasn't cardboard, not plastic either. Celluloid. What, is, what does he mean when he says celluloid? Like, like, like film? I don't know. I have no idea. Like a film roll, a real thing. I think that's because celluloid heroes are film stars, so that's that's the association I mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it felt like dead skin. And how would you know that? Oh well, he did just kiss Alan the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well I think when he says dead skin like like again when you have a blister or a callus or like on your feet you know what I mean like yeah oh yeah 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 okay could be that yeah you're right it is it's it was formerly it says formerly used for cinema I can't say this cinema, cinematographic film cinema what Exactly. That's what I thought you were saying. I was like, cinnamon? No. Cinnamon film? That sounds like... It's either a <laughs> porn or a That's, snuff film That or word is too much. But yeah, it's, it's basically like when they used to take the roles and load them up to play the movies. Yes, and now did. Huh? Hello? Yeah. Sean called, so I had to like hang up on. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you hear the ring? Did you hear the ringtone? No, it just all of a sudden you cut out. That's what I'm saying. It probably just went blank for a little. Well, he's gonna have to wait. Be I totally hit sure. the button on him. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so now that the black card man is dead, Mm-mm-mm. now Jake's interested in who he is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's all it took. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, maybe he... himself, Jake gets interested. Right. Yeah, that's dumb. It should have. He should have been interested before. <laughs> it almost seems like he enjoys living in the fifties more than twenty eleven. Definitely does. That's why I think he's just... yeah. <laughs> Jake Epstein. <Epstein's team. So> that's... <laughs> It's but, good to be back. These are personal. Yeah, you know why. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I just read that I was thinking about. And like, oh. Yellow card man or, or yeah, September <laughs> United States of America. Yellow card man or yellow card man, it's good to be back. And I wrote why. Like, why right. did you care about 1958? Why was it 
he just well, likes he, he has no memories of it other than the ones he just made or no associations like he's like oh 1958 I love it here like, yeah I don't think I'd feel I'd, it, it's kind of like Ireland like it's a simpler I, I like visiting but I don't know if I'd want to live there yeah um plus he's just standing on the side of the road right now like <laughs> on the gravel shoulder of the highway it's better in 19 19- <laughs> Yeah, see, there is no way because all he does is bitch about how everybody smokes. Yeah, but that, if, yeah, but if you're outside, there's not as much pollution and smog and all that. Nonsense. There's more because there weren't as many they regulations. Just, yeah, but they just started creating it. It hasn't had a chance to build up yet. Yeah, I mean it's definitely worse inside because it's inside. <laughs> Well, yeah, inside. yeah, but he yeah. talks about it outside too. How there's so many factories and things but he also that says are something about how the air smells. Oh, smells the, oh, I hear what you're saying. Fresh and new. Yeah. So he likes. Yeah. But that, but literally right before that, he says diesel stink of the butt. Yeah. Well, I think you still have that. Like. I think you're right in saying that this is Stephen King um, fondly remembering his childhood. <laughs> um, we're at uh, 48 minutes, so I don't know if it's going to cut off in an hour, but if it does, I'll just, you know, send you. Okay. I tried to okay. find you on uh, uh, Anchor, but they, they don't know who Pamber is every time I search for you, so I don't know what that means. Maybe I have to, like, make it more official or something. Do we have to, like, become friends on Anchor or something? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just send you another text if it cuts off. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run it to the end, see if it goes past an hour this time. But, uh, like when I, when I do, when I, the first time I recorded this, it said you only have an hour. But like when I was copying and pasting clips together last week or two weeks for the last one we did, like I could have put all three of them in the one episode if I wanted. <laughs> like, well, two and a half hours is probably too long for an episode. <sighs> Uh, so it'll let me go over, I think, if I want, but it won't let me record more than an hour. So this is not This is an I'm saying this is, this is probably going to cut me off in an hour and I'll have to start another one. Why'd you say you can't find her on Anchor then if this is Anchor? Because I sent her a text message. I can't invite her on Anchor. Remember, we just tried that? Uh, and, I, and, I, and it said it didn't find her, so I had to send her a text message to come it. to her. Okay. Um, and that, oh, I like that part too. Uh, well, yeah, nobody knows who the yellow, uh, whatever card color man is. <laughs> the card man. Nope, no ID. He probably came down from the country in a box car. That's what my dad says. Blah, blah, blah. For apple picking. I like that. He's like, you must like that shade of blue. Same color as one you're wearing. And he's like, yeah. It was the one I was wearing, but I didn't say so because it would only have confused us both. <laughs> Like, well, that's yeah, everything stays, everything you read sets, you know, but everything you bring stays. stays. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, that's hard to think about. I wonder, like, I think he said, uh, Owen or Joe, I think it was Owen, helped him out with the whole like what would happen in a time travel and the paradoxes and all that. So, I mean, <laughs> picture, like, him and his kids sitting around with a beer, like, making up the rules for the, for the time travel. <laughs> I think it's funny they uh, they call it a mile a minute highway, and that's supposed to be like super fast because now we drive like eighty on the highway, and that's not even that fast. Back from from my mom's grave on the turnpike, and you know, turnpike seventy. Yeah, I'm for Michelle drive. She's doing like seventy five, and there's people doing like like acting like Zooming she was past. like crawling past. Like, it, I mean I that mean, would. They're like zipping in and out. Like that would be me if you're on 75 and a 70. Get out of my way. <laughs> like in between cars, and you don't really have the room, but you cut them off and make yeah. the room anyway. And then you go back. Oh, I don't like when when it's, I don't no. mind driving fast. But I just don't like erratic driving because it scares me when you're going at that speed and you're weaving in and out of traffic. Yeah, I either let you go really far away or I get really far ahead of you. Keep up the drive like that. I don't want nothing to do with them. Yeah, I mean, because you, you, that person has to get lucky every single time, and it takes yeah. that one time. Exactly. And that leads into major wager, major wager. How <laughs> great plans are making money, and I don't like this plan. And Stephen King even mentions this at one point. 
which I agree with. If Al Al could have played the stock market and made my life easier or something like that, but he didn't. Yeah. Like the but way. But then he doesn't do it either. Well, he, yeah. He didn't he, really have time. Like you can't talk smack on Al for not doing something, and then you go back and you don't do it either. Yeah, Jake. Well, had, no, he says something about like he could have studied the stock markets for me instead, but he didn't. Like I don't think Jake had the time to look all that up before he came back. You know, tell me once. It only. Takes I was gonna say yeah. See, I don't agree with that because oh, that's all, true. he doesn't. He he really doesn't need a lot, right? Like he could look up one stock that skyrocketed. That's true. And invest all his money in that and get rich. Yeah, then he gets hooked on gambling, though. And that takes like two mm-hmm. seconds. It would take him two seconds to be like, what stock rose most in between 1950 and 1960? Damn, done. Invest, go back, invest all your money in that. It doesn't take long. One. It's not like he has to do a whole like research project. All he has to do is like find one that does really well, and that's all he needs. I would take like 10 stocks invest a dollar in all of them and then jump back to 2011 and cash them all out. <laughs> but uh, he's a different person in 2011. He's well, not George Amerson. Didn't take 2011 months back to 1958. So. Nope. Uh, yeah, the gambling is just a, a, I guess it creates suspense, but it's a really bad idea if you ask me. Or mm-hmm. the way he does you got four or five years to kill. Go drive to Las Vegas where you're allowed to do it and bet all you want. Bet your heart. And I exactly. think that it's stupid that he makes such a major bet that's really not um like it's not like the odds are really good or something. He makes this he crazy makes it, bet. He makes a very specific bet, which would make right. anybody yes. suspicious. How do and you he, know? And he gonna... puts five hundred dollars on exactly. it. Be like you putting five thousand dollars on something now. Why would you do that? Like that's and then he's like, oh, like you know, they're after me. Well, no shit, dumbass. Like you could be <laughs> more well, suspicious. Yeah, I like the, the first the first <laughs> bet he makes. Chaz Freddy. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I like Chad. I wish he was. In. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I jumped ahead to when he's in Florida a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, and then he's like, so then he kills Donnie and he right. makes the bet in Florida. And he even says he didn't need to, but he, put, he it was yeah. like he compares it to something like it's like betting when you know you're gonna win no matter what. He like there's a rush to that. Like yeah, like but like I just thought it was so stupid how much he he ended up putting down on it, and I'm like. Yeah, why? Like, you have all the time in the world. You could make a bunch of bets that are, you know, all over the place and just put, you know, 20 bucks on each, which would be a lot less suspicious. You know, lose some, win some, you know. But he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna put it down on this and you know be all crazy. He like, says what? they go down three to one and then they win in game seven. That's yeah, it's like something Chaz, super, right? like you said, super specific, and it's like, why would you? Yeah, and the guy, and then I forget his name. And then he wonders why the guy comes to burn yeah, like, down his whole house. Connected or something. Like yeah. That. Why like, would you even make that bet then? Like, nope, right. no, no, I'm not doing that. It's not worth it. Like, don't. And in 1958, I'm pretty sure the mob was like, you know, full force. Major, yeah. <laughs> Um, just to make any sense to me, I thought he was stupid. like he's like, uh, I like Chaz, uh, uh, accepted the six to one. Uh, I didn't want to hurt Fratty too badly. It was true that he set me up for Bill Turkett, but he had his reasons. Besides, that was in a different life or another life, I guess. Actually, that it's that not really like that doesn't like, exist anymore. All that stuff that happened now, that never happened. Like, All right. Plus, I don't think either of them were trying to hurt him. They were just trying. Like, Bill just didn't want him to hurt Frank. <laughs> right. Bill was. Yeah. He he wanted uh he wanted to do it himself. So he kept telling himself. Right. So he claimed. <laughs> it took Jake for or it took George for him to uh, actually do some action. <laughs> Although he wouldn't have been there to stab Dunning if Jake had to intervene. We're going down that rabbit hole. Again. <laughs> he still, he, you know, I'm starting to think it's more Jake than Mr. King. He, he just doesn't really like that guy. Yep. Like, because I'm rereading it going, well, King's not nice, but he's not a total dick like he, I thought he was at first. But, like, but I told him that I felt fine. The old bastard looked disappointed. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, though this whole section I thought was hilarious. I had a section in my notes called the uh, something like how where is it? Oh yeah, the obdurate past round three. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, did you notice the Derry Sandpipe? He talks about that. The uh, po- postcard, right? Yeah, well, we we have a picture on the bench in front of the standpipe. I remember. Yes, I was there. Huh? I was there. I, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's uh, that's that big white thing. I don't know what a standpipe is, but it wasn't what I thought it was. I was picturing <laughs> like a water or something. A what? A water main. That's what I thought too. There's like no water at the bottom. I think the standpipe is more like a water tower. Like it's it's holding. Like I think that thing was full of water, but yeah, that, that's what I thought. It, don't they go into the standpipe to enter the sewer? Isn't that how that works? Um, maybe. We we could. It's probably one of those ones that instead of having four that go up to the the big water tower at the top, it's just that one big one. It's. I'll show you what it is. I think we passed it. There may have been an egg, like an entrance that was at the standpipe or near the standpipe, like, but they, I just don't remember exactly. Um, I mean, obviously I remember the standpipe in the story, but I don't remember how it connected to the sewer. That's the Baron, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's an ironic name because they're not. Bear? Yeah, (laughs) Baron. Um, I just had a picture of me and you in front of the standpipe, and now I went away. That's uh, that grave right there says Georgie. There's a little one says Georgie. <laughs> Remember, didn't I tell you that? And he gets his names from the uh, grave from mm-hmm. the uh, because cemeteries because the dead don't complain. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, I gotta wait for those to load now. So. Oh, sorry. There's a picture in there somewhere of us in front of the sample. But it's it's like big, round and white. I don't know. It's like. Big, round and white. It's probably as, about the size of that house. Hmm. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, that's more of a hit discussion, and apparently we're not doing that. That that's about nine books away right now. So. <laughs> Literally. Up oh, fifty nine twenty four. So we're about to find out in a second. Um, I like how he's like. If I said possible mall site, would that be a bingo? Like exactly what he said the first time. And he's like, so we talked for a while, but you already know that part. Yeah. <laughs> 